Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Keynote on the iPad. This episode of MacMost Now is brought to you by Gazelle.com. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. Use promo code MacMost for a 5% bonus. So if you make lots of presentations, one of the great things about the iPad is the Keynote app. This app from Apple is kind of like the one from iWork and allows you to create Keynote presentations on your iPad and present them from your iPad as well. Let's take a look at some of the features. So the basics of using Keynote are the same on the iPad as they are on the Mac. Create a new presentation and then you can add slides to it on the left. Here, do that by pressing the plus button at the bottom and then picking a master slide to add. Once you've got that, you double tap on any text field to edit it. Here's a little sample presentation and here we can see the transitions for each slide. So on this first one here, I've got a cube transition. Second one, I've got none. And here the third one, I've got something called Magic Move, which we'll look at in a moment. To change a transition, tap on the transition there and select which one you want to use. So we can change it to a pivot. It gives you a demo of it. Then for the second slide here, we've got transitions on these bullets. I click the transitions there and see that there's none for the main slide itself. When I select the bullet, I can see that I've got it set to move build in for each individual item. I can tap on that to change it. Now Magic Move is kind of interesting. What you do is you take a slide like this one which has several elements on it and then you select Transitions and it will say None. You select Magic Move and it will ask you if you want to duplicate the slide. This is because Magic Move relies on the fact that you have two slides that have the same items in it. So now I've got slides three and four that have the same items. And I'm going to move all these together. I can resize them and everything put them together in a bunch. So now on this first slide I've got these pictures over in a bunch here. On the second slide I have them spread out like this. And I've got the magic move between the two. So now if I press play I'll see them in a bunch and I'll tap and it will then go and perform the magic move to reposition the slides, uh, the pictures as they are on the second slide. Now working with slides is a matter of selecting objects and you can move them around or edit them. For instance, if I can select this image here, I can click on the image editor here and I can select uh, a new photo to use. So here I am with a blank slide and I can add a variety of different elements to the slide here. In addition to media, uh, which are pictures and uh, movies, I can add tables, charts, and even shapes. And to get any of these onto the slide, I can basically just drag and drop it. And now I have this pie chart here. I can double tap it and it will bring up this area where I can edit the chart data. At any time I can return to my list of presentations and flip through the ones that I've created. For any presentation like this, I can export it. Basically I can send it by email, I can share it on iWork.com or I can do a general export and I've got two options here. One is to export it to Keynote on my Mac, which I can share through iTunes. The other is to export it as a PDF. So what I love about Keynote is it's very easy to create the entire presentation on the iPad and produce alternate versions for each audience like a lot of presenters do. Then if you have the VGA adapter, you can hook it up to a larger screen or a projector and make a presentation from there. You get this special screen then on your iPad where you can control the presentation while it goes on on the main screen. You can even press and hold on the screen and a red laser pointer appears on the main screen so you can point out items in your presentation. Then of course you can also export as a PDF and mail that. So if you wanted to provide somebody with a PDF version of your presentation or send it along to a printing service to have it printed ahead of your presentation, you can do that all right from the iPad. Hope you like this look at Keynote for iPad. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.